so to make sure you're in the right place, we're in a webinar uh, looking at Teach Active, which is a, a, a great platform to think about, um, you know, physical learning in the curriculum, how we can support people to transition back to school, uh, whatever you're watching from, uh, with a physically active recovery curriculum. Uh, and John is going to uh, come on the line and say hello and give a little demo. Uh, so last time we did a session uh, early February, um, we had over 200 people watching. So maybe one or two of you have come back um, again, or it's your first time. So just let us know. So um, hi, Holly. Um, so all your messages, folks, in the chat box come to me only. So do say hello. Um, training teachers or experienced school teachers. So there's five of you watching at the moment. So let me know where you're watching from. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, a bit lonely talking to myself. So um, where are you watching from? What do you do? So, John, while people uh, find out where the chat box is, um, could you just say hello to everyone and let everyone uh, know uh, your role and a quick little whistle-stop introduction about Teach Active? Yeah, brilliant. OK, good afternoon, everyone. Nice uh, for those of you who've managed to join us. I know it's really busy at the moment. Um, so my name is John Smedley. I'm the founder of Teach Active, and uh, some of you may have come across Teach Active before. Some of you, it may be completely new to you. Um, but of course, uh, Teach Active, as well as delivering a lot of teacher training, um, we actually have the Teach Active resource, which we're going to demo to you this afternoon, um, which has been used and utilised in schools for the past six years, making a real difference, as we will show, and, and the benefits to that. And hopefully it's something that you look at and, and, and actually think uh, that it can be a, a beneficial to your children within your school or within your setting as well. Okay, thank you, John. So uh, again, in the chat box, everybody, just for a bit of feedback, we can steer the conversation to suit you. It's much better having a small audience. And uh, so we've got a couple of trainee teachers. Um, Holly and Kate, is it primary or secondary? That would be very helpful. And thank you, Fiona in Swansea, um, an FE lecturer. Um, okay, secondary, thank you, Holly. And primary, Kate. Okay, so anybody else watching? Um, John, so I guess I can start with... Um, you know, what is active learning to begin with? Uh, maybe you want to just put a slide up on the screen or show everyone what the website looks like. You know, you and I are familiar with the platform. We've been looking at this for um, a couple of months, at least from my perspective. Yeah. And I know Teach Active have been around for a number of years. Uh, can we just give everyone a quick little whistle stop introduction? Of course, yeah. And just uh, IT seems to be working very slow at my end, but uh, we'll just. <laughs> my screen with you and just share a, a, a couple of slides literally just to what um, teach okay, there we go. times in this situation rather than always uh, uh, necessarily listening to me talking to you about what teach active is it's sometimes nice just to um, do a, a two minute video and, and just to see some children taking part see some uh, teachers and head teachers talking a little bit about what teach active is so I'm going to try and share this with you um, working from home like many of us, of us so I think my, my internet decides to be a little bit slower but I'm going to try and share the video with you if not Ross we're going to have to but yeah of course physically active learning what we mean is is just getting children up and back to, uh, active within the classroom and, and of course incorporating physical activity into your English and your maths lessons um, you know, it's something that I did as a teacher for 20 years, as a PE advisor, as a then going back into school as a deputy head in charge of raising standards in English and maths and those key subjects like we all are. Mm. But actually thinking, how can we get children to really love these subjects? And actually found that by linking it to physical activity, you know, not only did it, was it, not only was it enjoyable, I actually had a whole host of benefits. So let me share this video with you. Um, and as I said, it's just much nicer to see some children taking part. Teach Active are passionate about active learning, incorporating physical activity into the English and maths curriculum, and using this approach to really drive up attitudes and attainment within these key subjects. Teach Active because the minute we mention we're going to do one of the activities straight away are keen to get involved, smiles on the faces and really want to join in which is just so pleasing as a teacher. 
but it gets the children engaged, it gets them active, gets them moving and thinking. Once you've tried it a couple of times, it's a go-to for lessons because it is so easy. They can choose their objectives, go to a drop-down menu and the resources and lesson plans are there for you. That helps save teachers hours of planning time. The biggest thing is pupils really want to join in and take part with all the different activities that we've given them, so I would definitely recommend it to other schools. We've got children now that love uh, maths and really enjoy and are engaged in it and that's really shown in the results. They want to learn then, they don't realise they're learning actually. Not only will it impact on your data, your standards, your outcomes, but you will see a renewed um, vigour and enthusiasm and enjoyment um, across both pupils and staff. Containing over 3,000 plans mapped to the primary curriculum and covering every objective from foundation stage to year six. Teach Active will save your teachers hours of planning time and complement any scheme of work and it will really allow active learning to become embedded within your school. Thank you, John. Um, so thank you to one or two that are just joining. So there'll be a good number of people watching this um, recorded after. Um, so if you've just joined in the chat box, just let us know um, where you are watching from, your context, what you teach. Um, so Teach Active, John, we know it's a, a, a portal of resources for teachers. We know that wellbeing is going to uh, matter before COVID and particularly during and after. Um, could you just, um, we, we got a few snapshots from teachers in the video, you know, what are the benefits that you've seen in your life, you know, running Teach Active for a number of years now? What, and, and last time we met, we had the privilege of Steve Findle, uh, one of our uh, head teachers, talking about how he has Teach Active immersed throughout his whole school culture. Um, what are the benefits? Okay, so I mean, as you saw there, Teach Active is this huge bank of, of ideas of resources. It's not a scheme of work, so it can sit alongside and complement any work that schools are already doing. And I suppose that's a great question. You know, schools might say to me, well, actually, John, attitudes are really good, attainment's really good. But I would certainly say that, first of all, we're going to make the school day more active by, by taking this approach. It's something that, it, you know, has always been very passionate, something I've already always believed in. And more recently, of course, the Department for Education of, of our schools actually don't push physical activity to the side as part of your perhaps recovery curriculum, as we all know it now, but actually prioritise it. Um, and we're going to make the children more active. We, we know that children have been very sedentary over lockdown and during lockdown. But also it's, it's, that, it's that love of learning. Steve Tyndall, as you mentioned, and, and many other schools say it's, you know, that's what we love as teachers. We want smiles on faces. We want children to love English and maths. We want them to have positive relationships with these with these subjects. And certainly active learning, you know, that's what children really loving it. But it's mm -hmm. not in all good fun. It's not just that. It really helps attainment as well. So we can do it in whole class um, sessions. We can use it for interventions. We can use it for a lot of maybe addressing gaps in learning at the moment. And what we're seeing is that actually... Um, you know, it's helping children to retain information and then mm -hmm. to recall that information and have that that deeper learning that, of course, is really important. So, uh, John, we're, we're pushed for time. So for a context, everyone, last time we met, we had over 200 teachers taking part in a webinar in February and we had an hour together. But this one's a short uh, micro session. So, John, can we get the software up on the screen and of course. Uh, allow everyone to see the kind of teacher profile and... In the chat box, everyone, I'm going to put the link to the free trial so you can have a little play with this. Okay, so if my video thumbnail is anyone in anyone's way, you'll be able to just move that um, just by hovering above. I'm sure we're all used to using Zoom by now. But what I've done here is I've just logged into Teach Active. So it's an annual, you know, it's an online um, sub, an online resource. I think when we say that, it can sometimes scare teachers. Um, and I suppose that it, it may have, as for me as well, but it's so easy to use. So on the left hand side is where we push all messages, but on the right hand side is where we want to focus. Our maths and our English lessons, we've got our homework. I will mention things to you like whole school staff training. So if schools find that they want to introduce Teach Active, um, we provide training as part of that. But let me just click on the Active Maths lessons and let me share with you why um, Teach Active is so popular and why teachers love it and why, as I said to you, it, it saves you hours of, of, of planning time. Okay, I did warn Ross before that uh, 
It seems right. OK, here we go. Lovely. So all we simply do is we choose our year group, we choose our area of maths and then we choose our objective. So we're all very familiar. So we can decide, well, which year group am I working with? Um, we then get the area of maths and it's mapped to the English maths curriculum. So those of us who are following the, the English curriculum. Once we've chosen our area of maths, we then get every single objective as it's written in the national curriculum. So we can have a look what objective was, are we looking at this unit, this particular day. And once we've done that, we then get a list of games on how to teach it through movement, through getting children up and about. And that might be a lesson plan in the, you know, that might be something that we're doing in the classroom, or it might be, because that's sometimes that's the only space that we've got. Other times it might be encouraging children to go outside and, or, or go down into the hall. And there's over 2,000 maths plans. There isn't a single objective that we don't cover every single year group. And then, of course, if you like this lesson plan, you, the, the lesson plan and all the resources are here for you. So I'll very quickly show you that, just to Ross and everyone on, that it's great because we've got the lesson plan, great for the teacher, great for the teaching assistant. You've got it there. You can save it. Um, of course, you can print it off. And then all of the resources answer sheets, record sheets, everything that you need for that game to go ahead is then provided. So perhaps many of you on this call, you've, you've tried a bit of active learning before. You think the children love it, actually you really enjoy it, but it maybe takes you all Sunday afternoon to plan it, where you can see here it is all done for you. And Ross, I'll just give people a quick whistle stop tour of the English as well. So again, those schools who are thinking, can I teach re reading and writing, but through physical activity? Um, in order to get that activity levels up, in order to encourage learning, of course. So we can choose our year group. We've then got the areas of reading and writing. So if I went for a bit of writing, this is all perhaps all of our grammar, all of our gaps work. And for example, if I choose text level, and it's with three and a half thousand lesson plans, it's perhaps hard in a such a quick whistle stop tour to give you an idea. But as Ross said, you can sign up for a free trial and you can have a good look at these lessons and actually, if you're working in the school at the moment, you can have a go and do them with the children. And let me finally share with you, we've done a bit of writing. Let me share with you a bit of reading. And any of you who are interested in learning more, you can book a one to one with me, something I'm doing a lot of at the moment. Um, and, you know, I can give you a bit more of an in-depth uh, look. But once we've gone for reading, we then got asked to choose which uh, genre of text. Once we've perhaps chosen that, we then get all of the key skills which we've got to teach as a primary school teacher, as we all know. Infants, I always say, it's such a big one. So this time you get the idea, we choose a game. Final thing to mention on this is on the right hand side here, you get the lesson plan, you get the resources. Um, but because we've gone for poetry, so for example, if I need a poem, you will see that the poem is provided. And of course, that's the same for when it's a story or when it's perhaps, you know, your, your letter, your persuasive writing, the text is always there and is always provided for you as well. And that can be shared whole class, interventions, guided reading. And of course, this is why teachers love it so much, because, yeah, not only are the benefits, but of course, it's all done for you as well. Well, I found myself just nodding like a nodding dog at the back of the car all the time. Um, so you mentioned work, though. We know uh, that burden of the teacher, that Sunday night planning, that horrible stomach feeling. Um, it's, it's great to see that everything's in, a play, in, in, in one place. Uh, I know you have, great, you, it's from your own passion as a teacher, isn't it? You've, you've built this uh, over a number of years. Um, is, is it, could you show uh, the audience an overview perspective of maybe a curriculum angle? Um, is there an admin feature? And I know one or two people we want to know uh, the free trial. So in the chat box, everybody, the free trial link is there. And then we'll talk about costs later. If you are a middle school leader watching, thinking, how can I get this into my school? And what will it cost? Yeah, I mean, in terms of the overview and, and, and a bit of a, a, an admin, all I would say to you is it's it's mapped to the the the, the maths and the English curriculum. What I will do is if I just go on to if I just go back to this slide here, just a moment. Um, where I start. See it, John. You need, uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, so if I share with you, we share the video. I can just give you that overview in terms of you know all of the as I mentioned, all of the objectives are, are covered, and and that's what teachers like because 
every single week, every single lesson, there will be something that you can do. And when we were, you know, um, when we were submitted to the Department for Education in an example of good practice, the school that took it on said, well, one of my maths lessons each week will be through Teach Active. So it wasn't all of the time. It, as I said, all the brilliant work that you're already doing, it was to sit al alongside it. And I think the benefits, of course, that we, we've already mentioned and, you know, we work with over a thousand schools within the UK. Um, we won many different awards and had many different accolades from, you know, such high awards as well and, and government reviews. But actually what the best thing for us is, is th those schools who work with us who, who come back and say this makes a real difference to, to the children and, and to the teaching and learning within our school. Thank you, John. So uh, I'm just going to pose to people watching any questions in the chat box and I'll ask John uh, the question. Uh, just for the chat box, your comments come to me only, so I'll pose them on your behalf. Um, so just to recap, you know, we're looking at active learning here, how it can help your children's mental health. It's going to reduce your teacher workload. Um, John's talked about how it's being used in other schools and international settings. I think we had 25 countries last time, John, we, we connected with 200. 40, people. I believe, Ross. We, 40, we, uh, it might be 40. Um, um, and, uh, you know, the government, if you're watching here in England, you know, the government, Department for Education, you, you know, the specific funding that's dedicated through your schools funds. So maybe John can talk about the PE sport funding uh, in a moment if people need a bit of uh, kind of uh, oomph, I suppose, to take to school leaders to get uh, that funding decision over the line. Um, as ever, uh, for me, teacher workload, you know, that Sunday night feeling, having to come up with everything all the time, just to have uh, off the shelf resources and lesson plans ready to go in those two important subjects, maths and English, um, it, I, I just think is a huge benefit. So, um, John, can you, could you give a bit of advice in terms of funding for, for people watching? Yeah, of course. And I, you know, I, I know it's, uh, Perhaps early on, but of course, one question is, of course, the cost. So we, we will come to, I, I will mention that at the same time, if, if that's OK. Mm -hmm. So um, I was just, no, just sharing, you, I'll, I can share some of the, these with you as well. But the, the best thing, of course, is to, to sign up for the trial, as, as, as Ross mentioned. OK, so for those schools um, who, who want to then subscribe to Teach Active and indeed do, of course, the free trial is there. It lasts for 14 days. Um, it gives you access to not all of the plans, not all three and a half thousand, but, you know, it gives you access to um, three um, maths and three English for every class from foundation stage to year six. So you can have a go with your class. You can give them to your colleagues. You can say, have a go. And of course, see if those benefits are being true with your children. Are they active? Have they got smiles on their faces? Is it helping learning? And then if you think that Teach Active is something you'd like to roll out throughout your school, and as you can see, the, 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 the price. So there's a slight discount for anyone attending the webinar as well and a discount code for you uh, there. So 975 or 2750, but reduced to 895 and, and 2500. Um, most schools, yeah, some schools use their English budget, uh, their maths budget, uh, maybe some of their COVID funding, but the vast mm. majority of schools here in the UK use their P and sport funding. Um, mm. I'm sure most people are aware. So most all schools in England get sixteen thousand pounds plus ten pounds per pupil. So your average school is getting eighteen thousand pound. It's ring fenced. Um, there's a criteria of five things. One of those is making the school day more active, helping children to achieve sixty minutes. And of course, what we say is active learning is is perfect for that. Rather than asking staff to do more, 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 we're just saying do what you already do, but incorporate movement. Um, and of course, the, the research there shows us the, the impact that that can have. So, John, we're talking about primary setting here. I know there's a couple of secondary teachers watching and an FE okay. later, at least from what people have uh, taught me in the chat box. Um, any advice for what they can do with the software in their context, if it's going to be transferable or not? OK, yeah. So funny enough, because we work in partnership with the Youth Sport Trust, too many of the... the, the will know um, and we do have a lot of secondary schools who use teach active with year seven and year eight children um, with sen children or as part of a transition project as well so if we, we have different bespoke prices for for example if schools get in, in contact and say this is just for one class of sen children there's 24 children so in order for that if i share with my, you my email at the end and if anyone wants to kind of open up that discussion, very happy mm -hmm. to do that, yeah. Great. 
John, do you get you to go back to the nice stuff, the kind of resources that you skip through? Really yeah, quickly? yeah, I know a lot of teachers will want to see those in a bit more detail. Could you just explain what some of these are on the screen? There's just of course, yeah. So if I just go back, you just now, if I was with you, um, what we would do is we would play some games. Um, and of course, Zoom is, is perhaps taking that away a little bit. But this year, two game, you can see on the lesson plan, we've got the area of maths and we've got the objective. And the typical games that I'm sure that you've played before, but some children would have an analog clock, some of us would have a digital clock. We might dance around the room to music, and when that music stops, we're, we're all going to find a partner. Um, and then we swap cards and we go again and we go again. And this might inform planning, it might help to, with assessment, but just really helping children to master the key skills, really encouraging maths chat, some good social skills, teamwork. And if I was using this as an intervention, I might just do um, the, putting the clocks in different part, different maybe areas of the hall and getting the children to run and, and, and pair them up. Similar, this is your year six, you know, year six sats, you know, and, and the anxiety of sats. So what I used to, with my year sixes, I used to cut up the clues and put them around the school field. This is a game where the children would answer a typical year six sats question, but the answer would tell them which card to go to next. And then the answer to that, which one to go to, to next, to next, to next. And the children are, of course, completing multi-step problems. And when I do this with teachers on training courses, the competitive element always comes out and they're always running around. And if we have a look here, writing year one, what we're actually going to do is collect a big physical sentence, collecting cards, collecting words, and then we're going to join the words and clauses using the word and. And of course, as we go up through the year groups, we might start adding different things, different uh, grammar or perhaps adding adjectives, adverbs and identifying nouns. But again, just doing it in more of a, an, an active, an active way. Children, this is a, a game for, you know, mentioned very quickly about it, paragraphs. And paragraphs can be something that's quite mundane, quite boring to teach, perhaps. Or we teach it and we think the children have got it. But actually, maybe we need to revisit two weeks later and how they retained that information. And again, through playing it through fun and engaging ways. And often teachers say to me, John, the children forgot they were, you know, they didn't even realise they were learning or they forgot because they were just having so much fun and engrossed in the activity. Let's go on a treasure hunt punctuation. Let's go and uh, read some uh, a story and then go and answer questions or go and find clues around and answer the questions that we've got. Here we're provided with a story and here similar we're providing with poems where we would read a poem and then again go and answer questions and and explain key facts. So three and a half thousand lesson plans, Ross, just to give people a little bit of a flavour um, mm -hmm. of, of perhaps what some of them look and, and feel like. Um, mm -hmm. But we say the, the best thing is to get a free trial and, and have a go with your class. So I guess, you know, you, you're drawn on a lot of kind of cognitive science, you know, memory quizzing, you know, also we know, that, you know, that if you're uh, active, you're going to sleep better, it's better for memory, uh, better sleep even, uh, and, and good productivity in the classroom. So the benefits are really clear, everyone. So any questions in the chat box, now is your chance. Um, John, I guess from me, uh, I know I've got a couple of trainee teachers watching. What advice would you give them, you know, apart from sign up for the free trial, how are they going to convince their SLT uh, at school, their senior leaders to part with the cash or to sign up or to take a little look? Um, yeah, I, I would say, of course, um, for the trainee teachers that are with us, you know, we, we do work with um, lots of trainee teachers. Um, so I don't know whether we've actually worked with you, with you guys. And again, let us know in the chat box. But um, again, if you've got a good relationship with your tutor, do mention Teach Active because we deliver CPD um, to, uh, to uh, universities and, and, and different uh, organisations. But, um, you know, try and incorporate when you're on one of your school placements, try to sign up for a Teach Active trial with the school, see if they're quite open to you having a go at this way of learning. And for your teachers working back in, in school, you know, hopefully you've come on this webinar because you're quite passionate about active learning like I am. And the only thing I could say is, you know, I know that teachers went into the profession like me because they want children to love learning. That's why we spend so long trying to plan engaging lessons. And this, um, sitting alongside what you already do, will really make a difference. Um, and it will really make an impact within your, with, within your children and within your school. 
Um, and, you know, I've seen that in so many schools. I'm very confident of that, not only within my own teaching, but we're now working with thousands of, of teachers a, a, across the country. So uh, there you have it, folks. Um, Teach Active, um, our short and sharp little session. Uh, you've seen all the resources. You've seen the website. You've seen how it's going to make your Sunday nights better. Uh, you know it's also going to make uh, the lives of your children happier, uh, improve the maths and English also. Uh, and I, I think that was a great message before COVID. It's going to be even more important now. And, you know, I think the costs, are, you know, I see a lot of these platforms for my life as a teacher and blogger. Uh, so I know the costs are pretty good. I know some of you will have questions. Well, I'm a tiny, tiny little school or I'm an international school, those types of things. So feel free to uh, pose the question in the chat box or unmute yourself. But um, I think that's it formally now, John, is it? We'll, we'll kind of end things there. We'll share the video and the uh, John's presentation with you all through Eventbrite. And I'll put this video up on my YouTube channel. Um, so thank that's you, John. I just shared in the chat box my email if anyone wants to touch base. Um, but again, thank you for your time and for joining us. And I hopefully get the opportunity to work with, with some of you over the coming year. Thank you, John. Thank you so, any much. questions? Jane, any questions? Anybody? Kate? Jane? Uh, yeah, just oh, have one quick question. I was just you, saying you thank have... you. Sorry, okay. sorry, Jane. Um, you may have covered it. Apologies if you did. The cost that you mentioned, is that limited to a certain number of teachers or is that whole school access? Oh, hi, Kate. Um, that is, yeah, sorry, and, and probably I didn't. Um, so the, the for example, the, yeah, the, the cost that we mentioned, that's for a school license. So that's for every single teacher across the across, uh, across your school, and they can all be on at the same time. They all get individual logins, and then it also in, um, stretches out as well for the, for the Teach Active homework element that we have as well. So hopefully, therefore, it's for... You know, for that for that cost, you can put active learning across your whole school. Okay, great. Thank you very much. That's really Thanks, interesting. Kate. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, Kate. Uh, Jane, question? No. Okay. Last chance. Anybody? Just say thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for joining us. Bye. <laughs> thank you. Any last questions? Anybody? Now is your chance. Um. So the hyperlink teachactive.org forward slash contact. Um. Stay safe. Thank you for tuning in and uh, get yourself physically active ourselves as well as your kids. Um, so we'll leave it there formally. Uh, your very, very last chance to unmute yourself, ask a question. Otherwise, um, Holly, you've got yourself unmuted. Is that? Oh, no, deliberate? I'm just going to okay. go, but thank you. <laughs> it was really okay. good. Thanks, right, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Right, bye, everybody. Cheers, bye. John. I'll speak to you bye. soon.